hey cancer welcome back welcome back to the channel if it's your first time here welcome and if you're returning welcome back this is going to be your quick read for the day um, I'm going to get into a quick prayer for those of you that are new here we do pray here tap into your energy and see the messages that comes true for your person and yourself let's pray Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Use my body as a vessel. Give me also the right messages and the right words to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, Cancer, this is a general reading. It will not resonate to every single one of you. Take what resonates to your situation and leave the rest. Okay. All right, angels, let me have four messages here, please, for cancer, please. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and clarify these cards. Okay. All right, Cancer. I'm getting the night sky. I'm feeling like at this point in your life, you feel like you need to separate yourself from things that is going around on around you that is having you feeling like it's really tied down. You're feeling like you just want to separate yourself from everything and everyone that is bringing drama towards you is what I'm feeling is what I'm hearing. All right, let's talk about our messages here. All right, so what I'm getting here, okay, your person's coming in and they're saying, I know it's hard to believe, but reconciliation is in the air for us. I can't wait. So I feel like your person wants a second chance here, wants to come back in and make amends. I do feel like your person might have reached out to you. Um, Maybe they're coming in with some kind of a gesture here, um, but I do feel they, they're trying to come towards you here, okay? For some type of a uh, let's talk, let's sit down and have a civil conversation. I do feel like maybe for some of you, you're kind of thinking if you should or shouldn't is what I'm hearing. Um, Please don't give up, okay? Please don't give up on me. Your person saying that they don't want you to give up until you kind of hear them out before you make a final decision. I am a bum, okay? I am a bum without you in my life. Your person knows that you bring stability towards them, Okay. Um, they might have learned too much, too little, too late, but they really don't do know that you bring, um, something special and something different towards them. Everything in my life is falling apart. Since you've been gone, everything around me, everything that I do is seems to be falling apart because you're not here because I messed up a good thing here is what I'm hearing. Um, let's, let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Okay. Now, to clarify, we have the sun here. We also have the chariot. We also have the star here. And we have the nine of cups, all right? Now, what I do feel is happiness is a massive for you. Moving forward from whatever it is that you might have been dealing with with your person. Whether it's past, present, or future person, okay? But I do see happiness is in, in, is in your existence at this particular moment. I do feel like things are about to change. I do feel like whatever that you've been manifesting and praying for, it is going to happen. Um, I, I'm hearing you should not give up. Um, I sh I'm hearing you should continue to stay praying up about it um, and tap into your belief and bring, and tap into your power because it's going to happen for you. I feel like you shouldn't allow anything to distract you here because I do see some. Your purse is, is coming in, okay? But whatever it is that or whatever it is that you decide to do moving forward as far as making a choice. You have to really tap into spiritual energy, okay, to kind of embrace that choice that you need to make so that way you don't fall short of whatever it is that you move on to or from. Now, because the chariot is here, I do feel like you did a sense of guidance here. And this is where spirituality comes in. This means there's so many things right now. It means your person is coming in, but it's not coming in exactly the way that you would have hoped them to come in. I do feel like you should wait. You should move forward into whatever it is that you may be trying to tap into night sky about. Um, praying and thinking things through. Okay. I do see you making steps here to make yourself better. 
um, it descending to whatever it is that you are about to receive here with the sun card being here, which is total happiness. I um, also feel right here that there's a lot of hope that is coming through. There's hope within oneself that things will change for the better, no matter what. Because what I see here is this Nine of Cups. This Nine of Cups is telling me blessings. Blessings and hope and guidance and happiness is coming towards you and, and, and trying to find a sense of a way to bring stability and balance back to your life, right? Um, as long as you're happy and as long as um, you feel comfortable within yourself that the choice that you have made is one that sits well with you, then that's the choice that you do, okay? All right, that's going to be your reading, your quick read for today. I hope it resonates. Please do not hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you later. Until then, always remember to seek first and you will always find.